Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Changed, an RPG Maker horror game where if you get caught, you get turned into a furry. I'm taking... that's an alarm? Where am I? Your eyes sting under the intense light, but you still make an effort to open your eyes and take a look at the situation you're in. Through your hazy eyes, you discover that you're in a very unfamiliar room. Your limbs feel weak, your head is spinning, but the most gripping thing in your mind is that it feels like you haven't eaten anything in years. You possess nothing but a small pair of shorts. You only think that they're originally yours. What? Obviously you've been kidnapped. Your vague memories seem to align with this fact as well. You've been kidnapped by someone and they brought you here. You feel very confused, but you clearly understand that the first thing you should do is escape from this room. Alright, you only have one goal for now. Let's begin. Survive. The sewer drain. Looks like this device controls the capsule, but it's broken. There's lots of dust on top and no sign of use, so who turned it off? Full of pipes and wires. It's quite deep and dark inside. You can't fit through it, of course. Strange liquid is splashed on the wall. It's probably not a good idea to touch it. It's over here. Tried unknown chemicals precipitate at the bottom of the test tubes. You're hungry as hell, but you're not nearly that desperate. You sure? It says hold shift to run. Who put these notes here? Did not touch them. If you don't want to be one of them. Avoid them. I don't know the capsule password. I just hope you awaken and read this. Be safe, survivor. Is he talking about something dangerous? The handwriting of the note is rather messy. From its content, it doesn't seem like that it's written by your kidnappers either. You start hoping this is just a bad TV show. Nope, you're stuck at a convention. There are more notes on the second page. It's clearly in another person's handwriting. Please remember to dispose of liquid waste and clean up the sewer. Do not drop any sticky objects, samples, or chemicals on the floor. Isn't there one up there? Especially the samples. You mean this one? Doesn't really do anything. I think we're good. Contents mainly air and paper. You didn't find anything to open with. Locked. Hmm, come up over here. You looked inside, there's obviously no way you could climb in. However, you hear something that sounds like dragons slipping around. You should probably step back a bit. Why? You hear a crawling noise inside. You feel a bit scared. Seems fine. Wait, there's goo! What happens if you touch the goo? What was that? Some kind of living milk pudding. Living milk pudding? Whatever it was, this place is clearly not safe anymore. It's not the best time to think about too much. Hmm. What would have happened if I touched that? Alright. What happens? Oh my god! I'm... Changed, Talon Drop. So I can kind of see where this game is gonna go. Uh, I think it's fine. But if anything's a little borderline, you might see some creative editing. My closer inspection, there appears to be a button deep inside. You put your hand in the vent, carefully winding around wires and pipes inside. Finally, you manage to push it. Cool. You managed to avoid being furried. This place is a mess. Seems it's been deserted for a long time. Where are the people who kidnapped you? It doesn't look like there's any humans around this area. You shivered. You have a feeling that your troubles have only begun. Probably. Or maybe you're just cold. Get a coat. Let's focus on finding a way out first, or maybe finding a coat. You can put the password machine so you can get to the door on the right side of the corridor. Don't have a password exactly. What's this over here? Pile of excellent manly badass hero. Toilet paper? No, it's a half of a mug. <laughs> You want to get too close to this broken cup, you aren't wearing shoes. Oh yeah! Let's forget shoes, too. 
What's going on over here? The sunset shines over the collapsed buildings below. You're standing in a tall tower that you've never seen in any news report or book before. A strange place surrounded by ruins. Only this tower stands amongst the rubble. Where is this place? Staring out the broken walls below, you are on the verge of panic. Are these the ruins of a city? There's nobody around that can help. So Umbrella decided to turn everyone into furries. And they got really bad. Really fast. And the world ended. <laughs> the corrugated box made of corrugated cardboard. So on papers, glass shards, the CD fragments, conclusion. Trash. You can use F12 to immediately to return to the main menu if you want to skip repeating death scenes, but sometimes you might miss something. I miss something. An unusual machine. When you stand from it, it scans your iris. It makes a record of your progress. Okay, save points. Cool. Beautiful garbage. That's nice. Some reporters written on this. The experiment failed again, so I locked the room. But this time, it got so close it almost blew up the entire building. I manipulated the pattern of the ceramic tiles on the floor. Bigger tiles were the key. The password to the storage room is hidden across the floor. I saw there were rats inside the storage room, so we brought in a cat. But yesterday, we lost it after I ate our sample. Uh-oh. Although there's something above the balcony. It looks like a wild cat. How could a wild cat be on top of a building like this? You'd be surprised, actually. All new subjects aren't experimented on voluntarily. We have the last five subjects here. I'm sorry for them, but they succeed. They save us all. We need them. We need their sacrifice. Sacrificing a few lives is the preferable option when it means saving many, many others. What's in here? An old newspaper. Details a serious new flu report. The newspaper looks very old and yellowed, but the date seems very recent to you. How long have you been asleep? You don't know this note these are. We want humanity to continue. We must change our genes. There's no other choice. Is it too late? It matters not as long as I can live. Even if I have to reject my humanity. Jojo. The papers in the back are all my medical terminology and chemical formulas. You don't understand the lick of it. Reject my humanity. Ah. So it's, uh... It's a post-apocalypse, but the furries were not the apocalypse themselves. The kimono. I think the kimono is the other term, because this looks more like the, uh, the Japanese kind of Asian style of them. Oh, God. The man in the picture was turned into a dog. If you touch that thing, it would be the same for you. Similar mission you have, but it's closed. Still going dust, though. Come to the dairy? Library or Lidari? I wait you. Who left this? The switch is covered with rust. You can't press it. Still wondering what happened before. You don't want to get too close. No! Wait, they're behind boxes. It's okay. I think. You had a death trap room? That's not really a death trap room. Wait, no, that's the real one. Yeah, I better save. Okay. Gotta avoid the goo. Avoid the goo! You don't even have any pockets. Oh god, it's a trap. Well, anyway, let's solve this puzzle and not get, you know, changed. Time will drop. So, the size of the tiles and everything is key. So, like, seven... I'm kind of looking at... I'm assuming that might be, like, a seven. Maybe. Uh... One? Four? Two? One? Two, one. Something open. Oh! No! No! No, 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 no! Fuck! I am... Wait, what am I? No, oh, seriously, what am I? No! Go, go. Wow, that was surprisingly fast. We're fine. Oh, it's a cat. Meow. Hopefully it's a cat. 
The device that controls the door. You open it from the other side. Wait, why would I want to open it? You're too weak to push this heavy thing. Too weak. I use some narrow boxes. I'm like, what? Meow. Kitty. Meow, wow! Wait, what am I wearing? Don't go near the cat. No, no, kitty. Oh my god, the cat's so fast. What? Oh no, it's a dead end. Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh god, I made it. Hunger and fear and loneliness flooded your heart like a tsunami. For a poor guy who's been locked away for so long, you're almost at the end of your rope. You don't know what's safe anymore. Those unfamiliar creatures are in every corner. You have no idea what they're going to show up next. You start praying for someone, anyone to show up. Any sort of human, just one person. It could be anyone, even the people who kidnapped you. But there was nothing. Not even decent clothes. Only monsters, conveniently. Your legs are weak and tired, but you have no other choice. You have to keep going. Get out of the building alive. Huh? No! No! Goo! I got the goo off. We're fine. You struggle desperately kicking, pushing, and rolling on the ground. With all your efforts, you finally ripped the sticky thing off your body. The slime slides back into the pipe and runs away. Yeah, that's right. Don't mess with me. I know what I'm doing in life. Because the door was welded shut. You get water dripping behind the door. That's not water. They stopped fixing the vent pipes when they saw something moving inside of it. My friend told me it's an escaped sample. Mmm, it's dark room. Oh my god. It's beautiful. This kind of virus is a super virus that has never been recorded before. This virus has been a long latent period and spread through many different methods. It's not to detect before it's too late. This virus has a long latent period. Wait, what? This virus is way too strong. We've tried all we could, but we still can't cure it. This is our demise, the end of civilization. However, our plan succeeds, then we may be able to save this world. It's you have to read what's written here. Ooh, opening credits. Now the real change begins. I tried to mix the genes of animals into human genes. I've tested many methods, but until now there hasn't been any effective way. I heard that the social order on the other side of the globe has completely collapsed. We may have been carrying the virus for quite some time. But if we aren't human, they won't affect us, right? There's a main electric switch behind this plate. If the power cuts off suddenly, the entire office illumination system will malfunction. If this happens, please fix it ASAP. What's in the box? When you're digging for the old garbage, you're picked by an old This better not be a death! It wasn't bleeding, so you ignored it. But the minute you start to feel unusually warm. No! Your head starts feeling dizzy, too. Tiny gray squares overwhelm your vision. You struggle to maintain your footing, but you fail. You don't have the strength to stand up anymore. You feel like you're going to die. You suspect that it was filled with poison. However, a strange squirming, it was poison, all right. You notice that your ears are becoming longer and bigger. You can control them freely as well. Then you discover that your body is also beginning to grow visible fuzz, the same color as your hair. It's true. You pull on top of it, it feels just like your normal hair. It hurts a bit, too. Your body feels like it's boiling now, and a lot of hair starts emerging from your skin. You try to stay calm as you watch yourself slowly change, Talon Drop. Your long eight teeth bite your tongue and your nails grow like crazy. You can feel a tail swelling where your conial vertebrae normally is. It's one of the strangest feelings you've ever experienced. Eventually everything slows down and the hair stops growing. You slowly open your eyes. You immediately notice that your nose has become further from your face. 
You stretch out your hand and feel your smooth snout. You become a werewolf. Real, hairy and all. But you're not as big as you expected. You squat down on the floor. It's a little unbelievable and a little bit happy. You start to adjust your improved senses. You lost your human identity. At least you like your new appearance. You comfort yourself and you just wiggle your new tail. So what to do next? Yeah, don't touch random boxes anymore. That's no good. Office rules coat the paper. You feel like your head will explode if you continue reading this. The bottom of this paper visibly states, not run in the office. I'm gonna run if I want to. What's this? A sweeping robot. It appears to be fond of you. It's been staring at you constantly. Oh, hey, little Roomba. It's a whole field of pipes, only the one you saw earlier. Even the position of the pipe are the same. I'm gonna living latex. Living latex. Kind of dark here. Hey. Wait, what is... Maybe it's just a, a statue. They don't seem to have notice use yet. Try to sneak around them. You know what I mean? Like a fake out. A yellow book. Start reducing your carbon footprint. Never mind, never mind, never... No! Sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak. Full professional looking words and scribbles. Well, they're looking straight up. I'm gonna... Roomba? Get when it's dark. These black latex creatures can't form crystalline lenses, therefore they're unable to see the same way that most animals do. They see by detecting motion, utilizing their auditory senses, so they can't see anything motionless. However, their recent activities demonstrate highly developed intelligence, which surprised me greatly. Unfortunately, we have to destroy these failed samples as soon as possible. These samples are completely useless. Useless to our research goals. Go on. I'm getting a little close to you. I don't really like that. A box of pens. I don't want to sit down. We're good. Oh no, my God. Which is pretty in of thought. After several experiments, we discovered that the thoughts and behaviors of tested people were greatly influenced by the creatures. Humans have been assimilated, parasite may gain the immunity that we're looking for. But their minds have been permanently altered. They still appear to retain their memories and who they used to be, but they are no longer themselves. Their brains are fused with the parasites. Paper. That's no good. Oh god! Okay, there's a puddle right there. We have to make sure we don't step on that. That's what I did last time. So I have to, like, get really danger close. Really danger close. Okay, there's puddles here. I have to go up. Oh man. I mean, this is gonna be tricky. Go, 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 go! Whoa, ho, 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 ho! Let me get a little more south. Okay, we're almost out of here. Don't touch the mask. I feel like that could be a trap. So you can't move them from a period when the lights are on. It doesn't matter if you're like you're behind them, I, I, they still spot you. Hmm, tricky. I think the sprite is. The sprites are very tight. They, they look bigger than they are. No one believes me that these samples' intelligence levels are improving too rapidly. 
they learn to prioritize superior hosts instead of just anybody. This has happened consistently, not just once or twice. I was aware about, so I reported to my superiors. They only said that what the was that these samples were failures and to move on. Okay, gotta get around this. Kinda move right here. Wait till it darkens. Good. Whoa! Nope, that's it. That's it. We're running. We're running. There's coo everywhere! Coo! Coo! Okay. We can make it. We can make it. Just get out. Oh. Oh. The guys land next. His task will be hard. But please give a try. The hammering is terrible and there's a lot of mistakes. Uh, makes sense. This thing always worries you. Don't care enough to read what's on it. Sheet of paper. One of those things. Comes small, becomes a crystal. So what are you, are you guys more of like a mineral than a... Animal? It's a little weird. Hey buddy. Looks dangerous, but it's actually solidified latex. It can't do anything currently. Well, you're technically latex. I don't... Well, it's whatever, it's science. These samples can alter your DNA by covering your body and breaking down your cells. But the effect is too strong. It transforms you into a all liquid latex that has own consciousness. It makes you transform into monsters that contain animal DNA. We call this transformation. We're still not sure where people have been transferred, still possess our minds at all. The experiment has succeeded, but also failed. It's fine. No. No! No! Oh, whatever. Let's see what the death scene is. Not too bad, actually. I'm surprised. Could be more horrifying. What is the skull, like, mask ones? Why do they seem like a, like a whole setup of a... their own species subtype? You struggled hard and punched the head of that little creature. He flaps his wings and flies away. Yeah, that's right, you fly away. Alright, what are we dealing with here? These little flying guys look a bit strange. They don't jump on you, they seem to want to play with you instead. Okay. In addition, you quickly notice that there's thick layers of latex on the floor restricting your movement. It seems as strange places are nest. So we're... They're not going to attack me? No, they attack me! Okay. Some papers are I kind of want to read them. But I'm worried... Never mind, we're getting out of here. Okay. This is actually gonna be a little tricky. Okay, so you can hop over those. Youch. Okay. Whoa! Now I'm dead. Wait, no, I'm not dead yet. This works. They're all like loot behind me. Except that one. I could use a chance to... These plaque samples eventually start to fade. They start to solidify and turn into crystals. Part of the crystals will break up after a while and create new copies. I tried doing more research, but it's too late for that now. Our data for now says that the latex that the crystals create it's a mixture of different animals' DNA. Gotta be a little careful here. They can cut me off at the pass. Just 
specifically these two. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's fire! Ho 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 ho! Now I die. Cause I have no way to get past those guys. Unless there's a hitbox here. Yeah, there is. Oof. No, hit the save point. Hit the save point. Go! It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna make it. Oof. Oh, 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 oh. Buddy. No, 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 no. What do you like this? Damn SCP. What? The crystal's turned me into a dragon? That makes no sense. Oh my god. So make sure there's no crystal at our landing. Then it's fine. Like here, don't touch that crystal. Rah. Okay. We got this. Oh no! No, we don't! I didn't think my clever plan all the way through. Wait. Now I got this. No! Okay. They turn the double tap. It will initiate their. This is good. This is good. This is good. I'm free. So long. Oh my god. You could be really trolled right there. You could end up going to the more north. Uh, let's say you try to enter from the north. Well, yeah, you're done. You're done. Now oh, look, a friendly one. I think. No, never mind. They're all gonna eat me in that way. These crystals transform me too, right? No, they just block me. No, never mind. Wait, what? What? Okay, we're fine. Feel good. Oh, I'm dead. Wait, no, what? We're fine, we made it. We're good. I've come to slay the dragon. Not the other word, if you minus the S. This intelligent creature seems to acknowledge your desire for survival. You nodded, but you're not sure what it means. I will be taking my leave and never coming back here ever again. Goodbye. Oh boy. Don't step on the crystals. It's getting kind of dark. I'm walking progressively slower. Oh god, there's a lot of them here. I'm dead. I think. I'm not sure what's going on. Are you guys letting me pass? Because I feared the dragon? Not gonna make it. I think I'm walking slower. Want can I look at these photos? No. 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 No.
Oh yeah, we need food. Badly. In the face of so many dangers and fears, you finally couldn't hold on any longer. A normal man gone through so many strange things in such a short period of time. You don't even have the strength to walk anymore. You wish you were dreaming, but you know that's a foolish hope. What happened outside? Is anyone alive? What can I do? Only this fear and panic engulf your heart. It might be good to sleep like this. You feel as if you're being embraced softly, like a silken, like by a silken blanket. Hmm. Hmm. Fruit, you know, it's flakes of black latex on it. Did they put it here? Don't eat it! You can't wait to eat it. The fruit is sour, but it's much better than feeling hungry. You're not sure why, but you're homesick. You wipe your eyes and finish off the fruit. If you're eating the fruit, you feel a lot better. You pick up the remaining seeds and get up. It's time to go. Oh, I didn't die. Weird. Note to self, always hit that save point before you interact with anything. You can put the password in the machine, seems you can do the door on the right side of the corridor. Pod tree. The branches leaves are luxuriant, and the trunk is quite thick. Mental food at the moment is important to you. Full pamphlets. Nothing. Zoology. Genetics. Neurology. Go south. What's going on down here? Did pod tree. Hey, a bird! A normal bird, I think. Hey! Bark. Wait, no, no, it's not normal bird! We're good. Moon, Earth, Tired Bod Plant. Huh. Full pamphlets. Seems like everybody looks like locked the door around here. Right, moon rotate 9 degrees. Hmm. It's 3002. Okay, so. 3002. Something open. Gotta save again. No, there's puddles! I forgot about that! Roomba? A sweeping robot. It was a broken. It's fine. Why is there- Oh god, they're on the ceiling too! And I got stripes. I got an opening here. I got an opening here. Okay. Fred the Sprite Needle. And... at the save point. We're good. What are... are you go, like a hedgehog? Oh, you just become my tail? You look kind of comfortable. That thing is trying to open the door. That's like you cannot run forever. I wish I was find a hunting place quickly. When they say quickly, they mean quickly out. Okay, 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 okay. That's not good. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Just don't panic at the last minute. It's fine, I can't crawl this land. Hollow ground, hollow ground! Hollow ground! You got this? I'm- I'm a tree. Bark. Bark, sway, tree. Oof. Oof. Okay. We good.
Hi. Please don't be afraid of me. I'm not going to assimilate you. But hope not. I'm not the same as them. Please rest assured. I read books. You must have seen the hints I posted on the wall. I know that humans must be very smart and excellent creatures. <laughs> mm. If you are a human, then it would be easy for you to get here. I know that's been hard, but thank you for coming here. Please rest for a while. Do you want to talk? Suddenly I'm feeling a little nervous. Actually, you're probably more nervous than he is. Maybe he knows the code. Might be a good idea to ask him about this place. I mean, we got still got these danger puddles all over the place. We have metabolic knees, too. So please don't eat my fruit. Get your own fruit if you're hungry. Wow, okay. Sure thing. Mountain of books. Oh, you've been studying. Good. I'm glad you didn't run away or throw anything in my face. As you can see, I'm a so-called monster. Just a normal, nothing special monster who wants to be better. Actually, I'm no different than those things that you've seen before who want to transfer you. In fact, please try not to fall on me. The consequences are very serious. Well, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Puro. I'm a black latex monster. Hmm. If I have a gender, I think I would be male. I guess you're the one who was locked in that room. I'm not very good at writing, but I hope that the hints I wrote help you to understand the situation better. I wrote it up and posted it on the wall. So are you disappointed? The one who led you here isn't human. However, humans are still an excellent species. You really made it. Came all the way to the library by yourself. Sorry this place is a mess. I haven't cleaned it yet. No, that's fine. It must have been the power failure that made your capsule open. At that moment, I realized that you were finally going to wake up. I've never had a conversation with anyone before. Nobody else speaks here. I don't think we speak. I might be bad at it, but I will try my best to answer your questions. It's a great honor to have a conversation with a real human. I've studied here for ages, probably for this very moment. It's a great honor to talk with the species who created us. So what would you like to ask? How can you talk? Incredible, right? I was the same as those dark creatures you saw outside. Until one day I came to this library. And I took an interest in these books and the language you humans created. It was strange, but I started to look at these books filled with strange symbols and pictures. It fascinated me. I read as many as I could, but I eventually started to notice the patterns, repeated words, and labeled pictures. But I'm the only one who had the desire to learn. None of the others had the same interest in studying, no, they had the same interest in absorbing. That's all they ever cared about. I surprised myself that I've learned to talk. Studying this was super hard, but I really want to improve myself. Human language, culture, and the entire world fascinated me so much. It'd be awesome if I was a human. At least I learned to see better without motion sensing, but it's still such a challenge for me to read. Improve yourself? Yes, my species was created from a filled sample that humans produced, so I know that I'm naturally weak, but I've also read that humans used to be very weak as well millennia ago. Maybe there could be a high IQ creature like me who could lead his kind to build their own civilization like humanity did. The Planet of the Apes? I know it sounds stupid, but no matter what happens, I still want to give it a try. I try to better myself, because I want to be my kind to be better. I don't want my kind to be doomed to failure and extinction. Turn into crystals. Ah, oh, I want to be better. Evolution. I believe you've already seen those impressive crystals on the way here. When we die, our bodies dissipate. Only this white mask remains. After our masks fall to the ground, it sprouts the same type of crystals which you saw on the way here. The crystals break eventually, producing new creatures. Sometimes a few of them turn out to be different than the rest. I am one of these. The ones that can fly and that big guy evolved more than most. The normal ones like me were created using wolves' DNA. Successful. We were the first samples they ever created, by the way. The white latex creatures were the next ones created by them. Better, smarter, improved. But as far as I can see, white latex still can't talk. 
<laughs> so we're still better after all. <laughs> Wait, Latex has more. Oh God, this is this is a conversation, all right. Has more stable body structures. They can't change nearly as much. Actually, this means that I'm pretty lucky after all. But I could improve even more by gaining a human host. Hmm. You want to be transferred? Never mind, I'm kidding. So what would you like to ask? What's your plan? It was a long time ago. I went upstairs to try to find more information about the world. There I discovered info that said there is still a human in one of the capsules. Then I found the room you were locked in. I wrote all the clues I can think of that could help you and lead you to me. If you don't get out of here quickly and keep wandering around this building, you will be transferred by those latex creatures. <laughs> My original plan was to use the last human as a host. And I could be better and stronger. Even though you've been kidnapped, it may have been a blessing. You missed the plague outbreak and survived. I don't know whether you'd call that lucky or unlucky, but now I'm sure that you're the only human in this building. I never left the building, so I'm not sure how it is outside. Where did the humans go? Oh, yeah, I'm dead. You might have to prepare for the worst. Same for me. You're so weak and thin. I'm not interested in you for now. You don't have to worry. Oh, thanks. Kidnapping plague. What plague? From what I know, this virus was an ancient virus originally frozen in the South Pole. Because humans destroyed the environment so much it caused the virus to escape. Or Boros. The virus started spreading from the ocean into the rivers and onto the land. It spread everywhere. This virus can't harm any creatures but humans. When humans touch or eat any animals that they have been infected, humans will be infected too. This virus hides itself very well. When humans finally noticed it, almost 60% of the humans on this planet were already infected. The outbreak happened, and then you woke up. That's about it. Building info. If you want to keep searching this building and escape, you must overcome lots of dangers. But if you made it this far, that means you've got what it takes to escape this building. Lots of doors in this building are closed as well. The doors are sturdy and most of them have passcodes. Not even I can get through them. Like the room you were locked in. Try to keep going. I can't help you escape. If you have any questions, please ask. It's still dangerous for me to search around the building. Ground floor. Password. The door next to the moon poster. So the human finally needs some help. But shouldn't you try to find out the password by yourself? Really? You're just asking me right away. I was expecting that you could figure it out by yourself, but I guess it's a really hard one. The password is... 11100033. Do not forget. Anything else around here? These are latex beasts over there. You should want to go in. 11133. Three. Nice. What? Why do you have goggles? Device to control the gate of the library. You have open for the other sign. Hmm. Looks like the door is blocked by latex. What you do? Let me go back? Now we're good. I wonder if it's a special transformation if I step over here. It looks kind of like... unique. I thought it was going to turn me the thing in the poster. So wait, look, one of the posters, it looks like it implies that the, uh... the black colored ones eat. Hey, look. Oh no. Oh no, me, me too. Move. This thing is actually pretty fast. Oh. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay. No more. You still were desperately managed to wriggle away from the rubbery creature. It gave us pursuit and ran away. No more. Okay. I need help. What? The door's being blocked by those latex. I was worried this might happen. If we tried to find another way, give it a try. There isn't only always only one way to succeed. Another way. Thank you, Pearl. Oh wait, what? 
you you're welcome. You don't have to be so polite, human. Saying thank you to a monster. Uh, are you serious? Nope. No, there's a save point here. I'm all about that. This mission looks a little off. Never mind. I'll use a save point out here, thank you. Okay, now we can take a look at this save point. It's a living thing. Wait, what? Seriously, right in front of me. What's he got here? This is where you're like learning how to draw and read. Don't step on it, you're waking them up. Puro must have ruined it. A self portrait of Puro. Mole behind appears strangely indented. Hmm. Hmm. It's Puro's self portrait. There's a note there, I want to read it. Hmm. Nope. Too small to get in. Directions. Run. I can't run through that. Trying to... You trying to have a laugh at my expense? Ain't hey, happening. I can feel parts of yourselves no matter where they are. I can feel when you step on that latex patch. So please don't step on it. Just step on the bigger one. Well, oh, I angered that thing. You. Okay, it's just water. Hopefully, it's not. It's not a water elemental. Wouldn't be that difficult to leap over, but there's no way to jump in this narrow ventilation pipe. Maybe you could push the box to fill it. Hey, human, come here. How'd you get here? You're made of latex. Thank you for visiting. Here's my home. Welcome to the wolf's nest. Uh. Well, why did I set up here? This is the ventilation system of the building. As you can see, it's everywhere. You know a little bit about the location of the vents. You can go anywhere you want. But if you want to travel further, you have to come in from a large maintenance tunnel. I just have to go across a dark road to get home from the library vent. Do you want to sit with me for a moment? Sure. Rest on the mat for a while? Okay. So I touch you, I'm dead. We're awfully close. I don't know what to say. Hmm, human? Are you afraid of sitting with me? Yes. I have fought countless times what may have happened when you came to the library. When you came in, that tail was right in front of you. I was startled. I was afraid that he would take you away. I wouldn't have a chance. It's good that he didn't catch up with you. Though in the end, you are smaller than I. Hopes were shattered. Well, I admit, don't stare at me like that. If I wanted to be stronger, escape. I can only rely on the human locked in the building, you. I wanted to see the colorful world outside. I wanted to be an excellent human, not a latex monster. But I can't leave. This building is blocked off. I'm still too weak. The fear of the unknown, the fear of trying, the fear of taking the first step. I fought a lot recently, but now that you're here, I have to face reality. Without an excellent host, my strength alone can make my race grow any stronger. I'm just a small, foolish latex monster who's been a failure ever since I was created. No matter how smart or strong a host is, it's still fragile after all. Human, you. You have your own goal, right? Go out and see what the world looks like. Please keep going and escape from here. Thank you for accompanying me. Thank you for listening to me.
I suppose there's a little bit of an irony here for for what kind of game this is. Uh, it's it's honestly it's honestly not that bad. It's honestly pretty decent for as far as RPG maker horror games. It's using horror in a certain context here. Uh, it's it's surprisingly put together, which is interesting. Uh, that's that's interesting. This is an interesting world. I'll say that. I don't mean the game world. I mean you know just life in general. <laughs> The proud poor open. The rough paper bag is full of dried fruit. The proud poor snack. The days here are lonely. Very, very lonely. Drinking water. It's probably clean. Comic book. Greetings, human. Why do you live here? There's food and water here. Traveling is also easy. And there's air conditioning. It's warm in winter and the cool in the summer. No matter what you may think, it's good to settle down here. What about friends? Well, I'm out of the crowd. Our genetic source comes from wolves. To leave means betrayal. So now if I wanted to go back, nobody would accept me. But I don't regret it. I know what others do not know, and I've seen what others have not. I'm very happy, kind of. What's your plan? Well, I was a little worried about the blackout not long ago. The blackout caused you to wake up, right? The manual say that after a power failure, the capsule door would be opened automatically in order to prevent suffocation. I might go down and take a look at it with you. But I'll take a shortcut. Humans can only take the road, though. It'll be difficult. Come on, maybe you should find a generator first. Blackout? Generator. That's one of the most important places in the building. A steady stream of electricity is carried from the tiny wires, supplying the building with energy. It's a long way from here. I haven't gone there for a long time because the road is so long. I'm stuck. Why you ask me? I'm just a monster. You're a smart human being. It's up to you to find the answer by yourself. Besides, I've drawn a hint in an important place. So you just have to find the secret. Don't just rely on me, you know. By the way, have you seen any leopards? They're a group of latex beasts that are very persistent. Their curiosity is very strong and quite a nuisance. They always trip me and jump on my back, those damned. Yeah, let's not continue that conversation anymore. See you later.